determining the arrival times between P wave and S wave using distance time graph. Sample problem. A seismic station is 3,000 kilometers from the epicenter of an earthquake. How long will it take P waves from this earthquake to reach the seismic station? So, dalawang question ang kailangan nating masagutin. What information do I have and what information I am looking for? Ano ba yung information na meron tayo? Meron tayong 3,000 kilometers from the epicenter. At ano yung information na hinahanap natin? From this example, kailangan natin hanapin yung time. So here, we have the P wave and S wave chart. Vertical or Y axis natin, makikita natin yung travel time. Okay? Ito ay measured gamit ang minutes. So 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes. Yung maliliit na line or maliliit na box, equivalent siya into 20 seconds. Okay? So, from our origin, ito ay 0, 20 seconds, 40 seconds, 60 seconds, or equivalent to 1 minute. Okay? Sa atin namang uh, horizontal or x-axis, makikita natin ang epicenter distance. It is measured... Um, kilometers in kilometers. Bawat maliliit na box is equivalent to 200 meters. So, from our origin, 200 meters, 400 meters, 600 meters, 800 meters, then 1 kilometers. Okay? Pero ito ay ginagamit natin yung scale na 1 centimeter is equivalent to 1 kilometers. Okay, 1 kilometer. So, ano kailangan natin gawin? Meron tayong 3,000 kilometers. Okay, at kailangan natin hanapin yung time it will take P wave to travel this distance. Find 3 or 3,000 on the bottom axis. Ito po iyon. Ating 3. Okay, so, galing dito, magla-line tayo, magdodraw tayo ng line pataas. So, so magdodraw lang tayo ng line hanggang sa ma-reach natin yung P-wave line o yung curve natin. Meron tayong dalawang curve dyan, P-wave and S-wave. Pero, since ang inahanap lang natin ay yung P-wave, hanggang dito lang tayo kay P-wave. Then, magdodraw tayo ng line papunta naman sa left natin okay so saan siya tumapad tumapad siya ng 5 minutes and 40 40 seconds okay so ang arrival time natin is equivalent to 5 minutes and 40 seconds ulitin natin so, ang gagawin lang natin, identify natin, hanapin natin yung 3,000 kilometers dito sa ating horizontal or x-axis. Then, magdodraw lang tayo ng line pataas hanggang ma-reach natin yung P-wave. Then, magdodraw tayo ng line papunta sa left para ma-identify naman natin kung gaano yung kanyang time travel. And here in our example, P wave travels 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Another example, it takes P wave 7 minutes to travel from an epicenter to seismic station. How far is the seismic station from the epicenter? So, meron daw tayong 7 minutes na travel time ni P wave. What information do I have? Lagi natin itatanong. 7 minutes from the epicenter. At ano yung information na hinahanap natin? For this example, the information we are looking for is the distance. So, gagamit pa rin tayo ng earthquake P wave, S wave chart para ma-identify natin yung distance or epicenter distance ng ating P wave. 
So, meron daw siyang travel time na 7 minutes. Identify natin yung 7 minutes dito sa vertical uh, axis o doon sa y-axis natin. So, meron tayong 7 minutes na travel time. Then, draw horizontal line from the given time, 7 minutes, to P-wave line. So, hanggang kay P-wave pa rin tayo. Okay, from our 7 minutes na time travel, magdodraw tayo ng line or horizontal line hanggang ma-reach niya yung P-wave line. Okay? So, ito na yung P-wave line natin. After that, draw vertical line downward to identify the distance. Tumapat siya sa 4. So, it is 4 kilometers. Meaning, in 7 minutes na travel time ni P-wave, umabot siya ng 4,000 kilometers. Another example, an epicenter of a, of a station is 3,000 kilometers away. How long after the first P wave did the first S wave arrive? What information do we have? We have 3,000 kilometers away from the epicenter. And this time, we are looking for the time. So, ano ang kailangan natin gawin? Again, gagamit tayo ng ating distance time graph. First, find the given 3,000 kilometers. So, dahil kilometer siya, ang titignan natin, titingin tayo sa horizontal or sa ating x-axis. 3,000 kilometers. Then, to get the different times between P wave and S wave, we will use the equation lag time is equal to arrival of S wave in the location minus arrival of P wave in the location. Ma'am, ang given lang natin ay distance lang po. 3,000 kilometers lang. Wala po tayong given ni S wave at ni P wave. So, ano pong gagawin natin? Kailangan muna natin ma-identify yung uh, travel time ni P wave at ni S wave. So, gagamitin natin process yung kanina. Okay? So, from our distance na 3 kilometers, magdodraw tayo ng line pataas hanggang sa ma-reach natin si P wave. Tumapat siya kay 5 minutes Okay 5 minutes and 40 seconds Ito yung ating P wave Okay Next <clears throat> Kailangan pa nating makuha ang arrival time ni S wave So dito pa rin tayo sa distance natin na 3000 aangat lang tayo hanggang kay S wave doon sa kanyang curve. So, ang time travel for S wave ay 10 minutes. Okay? So, from 3,000 kilometers na na-travel nila, P wave is 5 minutes, S wave 10 minutes. So, kailangan daw natin is lag time is equal to arrival of S wave in the location minus arrival of P wave in the location. First, we need to change minutes into seconds. Remember, one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. So, for P wave, meron tayong 5 minutes and 40 seconds. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 5 minutes times 60 seconds divided by 
one minute. Then, i-cancel natin yung unit ng minutes since ang hinahanap natin ay seconds. So, 5 times 60, we have 300 seconds. Tapos, meron pa tayong 40 seconds doon, di ba? Kaya, i-add natin yun. So, ang total natin for P-Wave ay 340 seconds. Next, KS Wave naman. Ang travel time ni S Wave is 10 minutes. So, 10 minutes times 60 seconds divided by 1 minute. Cancel natin ulit yung unit na minutes. Then, 60 times 10 is 600. From here, pwede na tayong um, pwede na natin gawin yung ating formula. Plug time equals the arrival of S wave which is 60 seconds minus arrival time ni P wave which is 340 seconds. We have 260 seconds. Then, kailangan naman natin i-convert itong 260 into minutes. So, ganun pa rin tayo. 1 minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. So, 260 seconds times 1 minute over 60 seconds. Cancel the unit seconds. 260 times 1, we have 260 divided by 60. So, magiging 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Ito daw yung lag time.